Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here with WWE Fan 599. And we're gonna be here to review Rogue One, a Star Wars story, even though why didn't they just call it Star Wars Rogue One or Rogue One? We know it's a Star Wars movie, but whatever, whatever, I'm getting off topic. I actually love, I actually love the fact that it's called Rogue One, a Star Wars story. That's just me personally. Okay. I know some people that do as well. Um, I guess I just would have preferred Star Wars Rogue One or Rogue One. It is the first spinoff. It's not a sequel to Episode 7 for those that haven't heard too much. But yes, we're going to get Episode 8, um, December 2017. But in the meantime, we're going to have another Star Wars movie, and it apparently takes place before the original trilogy. Am I right on that, WWE fan? Yes, this takes place actually before before A New Hope. Yeah. So, you know what that means? We might actually get to see Darth Vader again. Yeah. Well, but speaking, of, speaking of that, we'll get into that maybe a little bit later on. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So... Basically, what we see in this trailer is that we get introduced to Felicity Jones, and, um, you know, she joins the Rebellion, right? She joins the Rebels? Yeah, she's like, basically a Rebel. She, she you know, she steals things, she's, you know, and they, and some, I forgot the woman's name that assigns her to do, to, um, to do this job to steal the plans for the Death Star, basically. Yeah, they want to see what the Death Star is uh, all about. And really, we just get shots of the war. Because basically, it's going to be a war movie. We see the Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. <laughs> Man, it's Double Toasted pointing this out. They look like a bunch of rag dolls when, when they can blow up. Did you notice that? Like, <laughs> yeah, it is a teaser trailer, but they show you a little more than what you expect. Um, that's all they really show you, really, and then you get Forrest Whitaker, who pretty much yeah, ends Forrest, the... Forrest Lazy Eye Whitaker, uh, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> After he ends the trailer with the monologue, you see that final shot with the walkers, and oh my goodness, it was awesome. This, you know, the movies are always called Star Wars. This feels like a war, like... Like, this literally feels like the first official Star Wars. <laughs> yes, like, it's like, it's an actual Star Wars, like... Oh, yeah, you know definitely. I mean? And it looks like saving Pirate Ryan in space. The action looks great. Um, it looks grittier than what we're used to seeing in Star Wars, which is great. It looks very different for a Star Wars movie. And in fact, even though you do see the Stormtroopers, obviously you still get the blasters and all that, and the walkers, it doesn't really feel like a Star Wars movie to me. And I'm saying that in a very positive way. Um, I do like how different it is, how it kind of separates itself from the episodes we're going to be getting, as well as like the new spin-off movies we're going to be getting. So yeah, it looks great. It looks like it'll be directed very well. Gareth Edwards is directing this one, and I look forward to oh, seeing how... Awesome. I'm so glad he's directing this. Oh yeah, definitely. I look forward to seeing how he'll direct Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Story. My favorite thing about the trailer, honestly, I know you told me you weren't a fan of it, but once it said this December and it started having those alarms playing like wow. by the last 30 seconds, I loved that. That was my favorite thing about the trailer. The way it went... Like, that was just awesome. I also loved how it ended with Rogue One, and then you see a Star Wars story coming up, and how we even got to hear the Star Wars theme, but it sounds a little bit different this time around. So, honestly, you guys, I really love this trailer overall. It looks great. What about you, WWE fan? Uh, I really liked the trailer. I know this is a surprise because I know I'm the huge Star Wars nerd. I love Star Wars. I should be jumping out of my seat like um, like a kid with uh, <laughs> candy and stuff. But no, I'm personally not. But I still right. really like it. It's a very good trailer, in my opinion. You know, just a nice little teaser to um, you know get us excited for the movie. I really like that. Oh um, yeah. I know everybody's favorite thing about the trailer is the music, but me, I think it's the worst thing about the trailer. Yeah, the the uh, the alarms, right? The alarms. Oh my god. 
I, uh, my ears were personally hurting afterwards. I didn't <laughs> like the whole, I have to deal with an alarm every morning. Oh, that's probably why, because you're just not a I fan of alarms. To, why do I have to deal with it in a trailer? Come on now. Yeah, I, I personally didn't like the alarm thing. I was, the, I was like, eh, maybe that's what toned it down for me from not loving it as much. Right. But, yeah, you had some cool shots, cool action, which I really liked. also like that final shot when you see Felicity Jones, like, just look, and she has, like, this, like, awesome suit on. Oh, yeah. Which, everybody's making a stupid comparison to Katniss Everdeen, which is, like, the stupidest comparison I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I think Felicity Jones is, like, way different from Katniss Everdeen. People that make these comparisons, man. But anyways, I like that final shot we see of her. That was awesome. And yeah. something we didn't bring up, everybody's been talking about this, the uh, the clove person, who's this clove dude like? Some people that speculate is the Darth Vader shot. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes, I don't think it's Darth Vader. I think it is your boy, Mad Mickelson. That's what I think it is. On my first couple of viewings, I actually thought it was Darth Vader, but then when I kind of paused the trailer and rewinded at it, I kind of took a very good look, and yeah, I don't think it's Darth Vader. It could be what um, you said, honestly, but I don't think that shot is really Darth Vader. I think they're going to kind of do, uh, maybe for now, like what they did with Luke Skywalker with the Force Awakens, where I think they might possibly save Darth Vader either for the movie or maybe like in the future trailer. Yes. Those are our thoughts on Star Wars Rogue One. Sorry, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I have to get used to saying that. But yes, those are our thoughts on Rogue One. So let us know in the comments down below, what did you think of Rogue One, a Star Wars story? How do you think it's going to look for a first spinoff movie? Do you look forward to seeing what they're going to do with it? Are you ready to see basically a Star Wars version of Saving Private Ryan? I know I am. Definitely looking forward to this movie. So yeah, awesome trailer. So you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. WWE fan 0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace. Tiger Power! And may the Force be with you. Dun, 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 dun.